<laughs> Alright, bro, what are we doing today? We're gonna do a mid fade and we're gonna do the beard, but the beard I just wanna I wanna shake to it. Okay. So anyway, I wanna clean this up right here. That's pretty much it. Alright, back. But where I really, really need you at is my beard. Bro. Okay. I'm over it. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Beam, and today we got a banging Mia fade with a crazy faded beard. If you're new to my channel, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. Other than that, kick them feet up, let's lock in, let's get right, we finna step. We wanna go in using a one and a half, completely closed with the grain, and we wanna roll through this hair because we wanna get it down to one desired length before we start to put a fade on this. Taking our time slowly but surely and just feeding the comb straight through the hair and making sure that the guard is able to slide no matter what. At times, sometimes, you know, your clients don't have a super lot of hair, but at the end of the day, you know, you still got to make them come to life. I want to go in with my gamma instincts using my Andes Massive Blade completely closed towards, you know, the top part of the C cup area right above the ear, but I want to still drop this fade. I want to make sure that this fade looks dropped. I want to make sure that we create a crazy gradient look through and through this client's head so as you guys can see instead of me starting off with my trimmers and something sharp I want to give a nice clean line there my next step is to go open a half inch above that creating another guideline and clearing this panel completely out my next step is to drop them halfway close here and start the blend process of knocking that line completely out so we just want to take our time slowly but surely but make sure that we get this through and through and as clean as possible I want to give a big shout out to my dog germ booming y'all know we got one of them things playing today so y'all know i'm happy i'm feeling good like come on bro 112 anywhere like come on man the producers is crazy for this channel bro and just big shout out to my dog so as you guys can see i'm still in that halfway area and i'm going between half and that second notch to ensure that i can clean this up as much as possible and i kind of want to just speed my way through this fade because at the end of the day when doing fades like this it's all about knowing your guidelines it's all about knowing your system and it's all about staying true to who you are these fades are a little bit more lengthy in terms of how long that they take uh, behind a chair because you know you're trying to make some contour to somebody head but also you want the fade to be buttery you want it to be clean you know so a process like this for me is easy like 45 minutes to an hour and would it be in an hour like you know you always want to ensure that I got good time to create and be able to record footage for you guys when I'm doing faded beard work and color work and things of that nature like I'm not just spraying and when I'm applying color with a brush you know you get what I mean it's gonna take lengthy of time so we wanna rock we wanna rock out we wanna hop in right now with a 116th guard and that's completely open and with the 116th guard a lot of people out there be struggling the 116th guard is the zero guard the 1 8th guard is the one guard you get what I mean all of your guards should have a specific length and they should have a number next to them but as you guys can see we go in here completely open creating a panel bringing everything together just to ensure that we can create our next panel for this fade this gonna be a clean one i promise y'all like at the end of this haircut y'all gonna be like yeah he snapped this gonna be insane so we want to go ahead we want to drop them halfway and we're dropping them halfway we finna start to you know decrease this line and start to create this gradient effect and y'all know what i teach y'all on my channel you know you always brush one you always fade one you stay consistent through and through you know with your haircuts and ensure that you get a client's exactly what they want because in this world you know we got so many barbers so many people who do this thing for money it's not enough people that do what we do to make clients happy it's not a lot of people that sit behind a chair to impact lives with haircuts that's what i do so with me doing that you know i want to ensure that i can get my client everything that he asks for now i'm gonna open my clippers up a little bit more the higher i am in the fade the more open my lever is you know the lower i am in my fade the more closed i am as you guys can see i dropped them completely closed here because i go between open and closed just to ensure that i'm creating this gradient effect and staying consistent through and through to create a nice clean dropped 
fade for him because mo more people drop fades and be dropped a little bit lower but as you guys seen at the beginning of this he wanted to do a mid fade but i put it in a drop fade you know uh way in terms of how i set my first guidelines i dropped it to a diagonal to the back part of his head so i didn't expose too much of the back of my client's head with that being said you know we just take our time through and through and rock out and as you guys can see we finna start creating a nice clean 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 fade slowly but surely and just repeating some of the same steps in between that lever in between three and in between two between and when i say three and two i'm talking about the notches specifically because y'all know the third notch is the middle notch on majority of the clippers the second notch is the second notch before the you know the smallest notch which is one take the guard off completely open flick around using the corner part of my blades ensuring that i'm debulking and really cleaning these hairs up to the back of the head rotate doing the same thing i know a lot of barbers out there like doing the back of the head last because they like connecting it last but me personally sometimes i like just rolling from literally left side of the head all the way to the right side of the head because it's easier for me to record that way in terms of the left side roll the chair a little bit clean up the back side of the head things of that nature i don't like to go all the way through like you know all the way through the one guy line all the way around the head and just keep working like that i like to you know work side and back and then knock out the last side last so as you guys can see we slowly but surely creating a gradient effect we finna give them a nice clean mid fade man so if y'all liking this video right now please hit that like button if y'all liking the music on the channel man man talk talk it to germ in the bottom of the comment section that's my dog so hey as y'all can see we completely open with a one and a half guard right here purple double magnetic guard and i want to ensure that i go in and i'm cleaning this area up as well so i go in with this one and a half guard this is my ridge area as y'all know i cut them down with a one and a half completely closed so we're not going no further than this guard yep we're not going no further than this guard Completely open with a number one guard. Let's bring it all the way together now. Let's start to really, 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 you know, finesse this haircut and bring everything all the way together and create the gradient effect that we're looking for. We completely open and we're going from open to halfway to close, you know, throughout this process. And I'm just speeding it up just so we can get through this haircut for you guys to start really seeing that voila and all of that beautifulness come out in this haircut. Shout out to my dog Joel in this chair. This is one of the barbers in my shop who sit next to me, you know, fresh out of school super hungry dude and i appreciate him for letting me cut his hair for youtube you know it's my dog man i appreciate him just cleaning this up as you guys can see this joint slowly but surely coming together we taking our time we working we working and as you guys can see, look at Gradient is fade looking. Like, look how blurry it's looking already. So we're going to go under that using the flex trimmer. And we want to hit under the nape area where I said I was going to drop that line because I really want to ball it out and really give it that real Gradient effect by knocking all of that hair down. I told you it was going to be a mid fade, but I'm going to put my lines in like it's a low drop fade. And this is just really mixing two haircuts together at one time. And once you learn how to do that, I believe that you'll be able to create different haircuts for individuals that look like that look like different haircuts, but they gotta mix it too. So y'all know what we like to do on this right side. This is my motivational side. This is the side where we get a chance to really kick it and really talk it crazy. So I seen this quote, man, and I forgot who said this quote, but uh, the quote basically said, you know, a river cuts through a rock, but not because of its strength, but its persistence. And a lot of people may not understand and know exactly what i'm talking about um you can apply this to barber and you can apply this to life or whatever it is the fact that a river shifts and the water can be strong the water can be you know just chill based on the currents of the water that it can move a certain way 
specifically um, and cut through a rock is different. And it's not the speeds, it's not the changes, it's not that, that that's what cut through the rock. It's the persistence, it's, it's the staying the same through and through. And that's what allows it to cut through the rock. With that being said, anything that you wanna achieve in this thing that we call life, if you're not persistent and consistent through and through, then you gonna always play backseat to people who not as good as you know you in something because you not consistent and you not persistent in it with that being said all of my people out there again like i said it could be barbara and it can be music it can be sports it can be school whatever it is like if you don't stay persistent through everything that you do then it's hard to shine it's hard to break records it's hard to you get what i mean it's hard to open up the world to who you are as a person with that being said put all of you in everything that you're doing regardless of whoever it is regardless of anything come from it you know train yourself to consistently give everything that you do your all because at the end of the day you don't know what doors you open up and by opening up these doors you don't know how many times you could possibly be maximizing opportunities if you shut these doors and you shut all of the things that can be happening in your life down, then you won't even be able to maximize opportunities. You won't be able to see yourself at a max potential or at a full potential. Like I said, y'all know I'm here for a lot of new barbers. I'm here for a lot of DIY moms and dads and things of that nature at home. I don't teach on YouTube to teach pros and barbering how to cut hair. That's the reason why everybody is pros. You get what I mean? I come on here to teach people who, you know, like trying to learn their confidence. People who trying to do it at home and things of that nature and i want y'all to understand and know i'm not the best educator i'm not the best barber in the world but what i can prove to you is i can break down the most complex things the easiest ways with some of the best analogies i can bring you some of the greatest music i can give you the vibes i can give you the essences and i can show you a level of execution through every haircut that i basically do on youtube with that being said through and through is persistence baby and when it's persistence it is so 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 hard to miss and I'm telling y'all, just stay focused, stay locked in, stay grinding, keep doing what y'all been doing. Because at the end of the day, it's only one person that's going to see the value in the things that you do in life. And that's going to be yourself. Everybody not always going to see your dream. Everybody not always going to see the reality of that. With that being said, stay focused. Get yourself the best and always put your best foot forward. And stay persistent in the game. And I promise you, the game will reward you for every bit of the work that you put into it. Y'all know that's just a little bit, a little bit of motivation from them because that's just what I like to do. I like to, you know, ensure that all my people on here is locked in. So we want to go into fading this beard. Now, now that we got this fade right, now we got everything right, let's knock this beard out. We basically pushed the guy down, line down some, opened up halfway, completely closed, and we finna throw a guard on it, bring it all the way together, and this should be done towards the end, because my client wanted to add some shape to his beard, as y'all guys heard at the beginning of the video. He said, I really, really, really need you for this beard, and y'all know me on YouTube. When it come to beard work, come on, bro, I'm next to none. Line them up, and I'ma knock them down. Y'all know exactly how it go. I am the most dangerous man when it come to beards on this. So with that being said, let's get focused, let's get active, let's lock in. I'm turned up today, like I got my energy, you know, it's a Monday, you know, I got a lot of supporters who watch on Monday and things of that nature, and I just want to be able to give you guys some of the best content that I can give y'all on a Monday. With that being said, let's tap in, let's, you know, let's take it up another level. We want to go in, we want to hit the client with spritz, as you guys can see, the fade is looking banging, man. Hit the client with some spritz, we want to lay all this hair down, we want to bring all this head forward, we want to line the client up to the best ability and give him the best shot at a haircut that we could give him as you guys can see most important thing with any waiver you float over the top of the head you make everything consistent through and through and bring everything down to that one desire left as you guys can see, man, the fade looking clean, the beard is positioned in the right spot. Anybody who know Beam and know exactly what I do when it come to lining people up and it come to bringing these things to real life, y'all know I am finna step in the name of love. Like, that's exactly what I'm finna do, man. So, hey, brace yourself. Like, you know, I'm glad y'all able to kick it with me and chill out with me and watch this video because it means a lot to me to be able to make this content for y'all. And like I told y'all, I found that place again. So, let's, you know, let's hike it up. Let's lock in. So, with that being said, I want to start with the back of the beard. I'm using my trimmers at the back of the beard. And I'm basically clearing out this area and clearing these panels out to create a nice, clean back of the beard lineup. Y'all know, this is my borderline. This is what I like to get started these are my borders and you know i've always 
just frame out before I bang out. And that's just basically one of my sayings. You frame out all of the, you know, all of the line work and then you bang it out by doing the front of it and everything else towards the end of it, you know? And that's just how we work. So we clean these borders up. We got them right on the width of the beard. Now let's hit the vertical bars. I know that it's lighter in this area. And usually, like, doing vertical bars in this area, you wouldn't see me naturally do C cups. But I was questioning if I wanted to do C cups or not. So I did vertical bars. And then I go to the front of the lineup, like I showed you guys in a previous video, uh, last video. Just to ensure to you guys, sometimes you got guys with, like, wavier lineups, even if they lineup isn't, you know, overly overlapping. It's just a little wave. So I go in and I'm going to use it. And I'm going to hit the C cup as well. Even though the C cup is light, we're going to ensure that we're going to bring everything forward and we're going to give him the cleanest look. Like, we we, we basically certify lover boy them on this type of fade. Like, this like one of them Drake certified lover boy fades. But with that being said, it's just like, you know, we still want to ensure that we can give him a nice clean vertical bar, a nice clean C shape. And as you guys can see, you know, we working on the edges of them trimmers and we just bringing everything together. And let's ramp it up some. I go in using my Beam Team Coolest Compressor XL black brown color my boy Sean clutch card color enhancement card we spraying at a three to four inch distance and we bringing everything together I'm tapping I'm bursting and giving it slight and light color nothing too dark nothing too much not giving him something that you know is just too dark my client's super light skin so you can't overplay your part when it comes to adding color to this but you can add color and give it you know some bounce give it some pop give it some fluff and that's exactly what we doing slowly but surely and we just bringing it together hitting the bottom of the mustaches we framing out the mustache area before we go into any of the other work and as you guys see like come on it's looking good we go in using some color and a color application brush and i want to start hitting the top of the beard because the client beard is super wide he don't need color at all but my dog is going on a cruise we want him to be as crispy and as clean as possible for as long as he can be crispy and as you guys can see we bringing this thing together we giving him some depth we got that nice fade into the beard and we gonna repeat some of the same steps on this side top of the beard line bringing everything down into the hair brushing it in slowly but surely you know, we giving them that deal. We, you know, we taking this up to another level. We giving this beard that fullness, that cleanliness, and then going in now with our barber magic pencil, which is basically allowing us to enhance, give it pop, flare, and flash. But also, we're concealing the line because the client is light skin. We're using the white side of the pencil because if I use the nude side, it would have popped up yellow on his skin com uh, complexion because he's lighter. So with that being said, be careful, understand and know why you're using which sides of the pencils, and then we go behind that and clean the line up up and as you guys see we finna bring this joint all the way together clean like this is clean it's clean we ain't even at the finish line y'all see where i'm going like i've been giving y'all youtube for too many years for y'all not to see where i'm going y'all know when i'm behind this chair when i got a good canvas it's gonna be special so we lay them back and angle our reds at a 45 degree angle, stretch the skin, bring everything back to the top line of the beard. And we want to ensure and make sure that we get everything to that top line and giving them the cleanest, crispiest line we can give him. As y'all can see, this is icy. We cutting with the grain. We're going to flip the razor around, backstroke, go against the grain because it's all about skill. It's all about technique. It's all about putting your client in the most cleanest position. Always angling that razor and stretching the skin and bringing everything back. And as you guys can see, it's a whole different level. It's a whole different level. We might start 2023 off easy with the best mid fade on the net right now. Let's just start it off like that. Let them feel how they want to feel. But y'all know when I know. Ain't nobody stepping like this. Like, y'all know, and I know, we might have just started 2023 off with the hardest haircut. And that's not even me being cocky or anything like that. But I don't give a chance to give y'all, like, fades and things like that because a lot of waivers come to my chair. And, you know, part of that is my fault cutting Jeezy and cutting Fonz. A lot of my waivers, you know, like, two with the grains and tapers on the side. But I don't really give a, get a chance to give y'all fades and things of that nature. So when I give y'all chances to get this, y'all know I want to step as hard as I can to ensure I give y'all what an amazing haircut because it's not something that I'm getting every day. Like, a lot of my clients don't like these haircuts. Haircuts. With that being said, my dog Joe do, and man, we got him nasty icy like this crazy, bro. It's fire. 
hitting the mustache area, bringing everything down to a T. And as you guys can see, it's ugly, man. It's ugly. They shouldn't have put me behind the shed, dog. They shouldn't have did it, bro. Because it's special now. Like, we in a special place now. I'm pretty sure y'all realize where we at right now. This is execution. Unfortunately, we get clients that come in the shop looking crazy by the head. No lineup, beer work is terrible, and it's up to us as barbers to change that outcome. My name is Beeman. Without further ado, y'all know how I give it up on my channel. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glass. Hashtag Glacier Gang. Y'all know what we at and what we doing in haircuts like this. Remember my message forever. Persistence is the most important thing. Consistency is is just as well. Stay focused. Love, peace, and blessings, and may God bless. Let me know what you think, bro. Exactly. Hey, yes, sir. Hey. Man, hold on. Oh man, here we go. So I just want to say, I told him don't embarrass me as far as try to make me look bad. You know, outdoing me on YouTube. But I gotta say, I think he, I think he got me, man. So y'all go check out my video. Come back, comment which one was the best. I know one thing, that beard is crazy. I'll say this to say that. He beat me on Fonz, so I had to get my get back. We one and one, man. <laughs> Our YouTube, as y'all can see, this was kinda a stressful process. But my boy, I got him right for the cruise, and I appreciate him for letting me chop his hair up. This was a clean, nice mid-fade. I'm still showing the C-cups, full line and full beard. Showed y'all a bunch of different work. If y'all like this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. And hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. This was a banger and I'm out of here.